Good morning, happy Thanksgiving, and welcome to Most Holy Redeemer. Worship aids can be found at the front of the church by the baptismal font or at mhr.org. Are there any visitors that we can welcome this morning? All right, well, it's great to be together in prayer. Why don't we begin our celebration by standing and greeting one another? My friends, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, I know, gosh, I know it feels like tragedy. It is all too common these days. But this day, this day we gather. We gather then especially, especially grateful for the gift of life. Let us give thanks on this Thanksgiving morn, especially for the people that God has put into our lives, who make life, who make life worth living. God, not only, as we hear in our free, first reading, God, not only knit us together, in our mother's womb, but God knits us together, knits us together as a human family so that we can be a comfort and a help 
to one, to one another. It's that we can together joyfully celebrate each other and the gift of life. And so we gather most grateful, most grateful for love. Each one of us born from out of love and born from the love of God, which binds us together, changes hearts. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You nourish us in sacrament and word that we might be bread for a world that hungers. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You love us. You love us so that we might bring your love into the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Father, all powerful, your gifts of love, they are countless. In your goodness, infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, we ask that you would open our hearts, that we might have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we might share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O oh my God and King. Bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name.
The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his Let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will pray. holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will pray A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The favors of the Lord I will recall, the glorious deeds of the Lord, because of all he has done for us. For he is good to the house of Israel. He has favored us according to his mercy and his great kindness. The Lord said, they are indeed my people, children who are not disloyal. So he became their savior in every affliction. It was not a messenger or an angel, but he himself who saved them. Because of his love and pity, he himself redeemed them, lifting them and carrying them all the days of old. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, 10 lepers, 10 persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when Jesus saw them, he said, Go, go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. He fell at the feet of Jesus, and he thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then Jesus said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Stand up and go, your faith has saved you. And St. Paul would remind us that faith, hope, and love, these three remain, and the greatest of these, well, the greatest of these is love, of course. Every day, every day, every day brings forth, I think, uh, brings a view, a view of the big picture in life, helping us to, to recognize, to see what is important, what, what holds the most value, where we find the greatest of things. So every day brings both a view of the big picture, but also the, the up close and personal that's unique to each one of us in each one of our days and our lives. I often struggle. I think we all at times struggle with some of the big issues of the day. Some of the big issues that we struggle with. I think one day we hope and pray that there will no longer be a need for us to, to collect food for the hungry, to open our doors every Wednesday night to those who live with food insecurity, to create that space where all are welcome. All are welcome because there is such great need. We long for the day when all the hungry will be fed, when all that do not have a roof over their heads will be housed, where all who struggle without health care will have their basic human needs provided. We pray for that day, we long for that day, we long for so many big issues, big issues like this ongoing war. We've kept a candle burning brightly, praying for peace in Ukraine and Russia. And now the conflict, the horrible conflict in the Middle East. So many big issues come to mind while we're still dealing with all the little issues of the day, the smaller details in our own lives. Well, today I think we gather to give thanks for it, for it all. The miracles, both large and small, 
and even the challenges, those challenges which inevitably come our way. These things that might help us, help us to be, I don't know, a little more, a little more compassionate. A little more compassionate for all of the struggles of, of the human family. And gratitude. Gratitude that helps to keep our thoughts a little more light, a little more full of positive energy. For we oftentimes feel the way we think, and we can change. We can change the way we think. So it's good. It is good on this day once a year, but it is good every day, really every hour of every day, to stop and to give thanks, to be conscious and aware of the blessings and the goodness of the day. Meister Eckhart, wonderful mystic and theologian, would remind us that if the only prayer we utter today is a prayer of thanks, if all we say is thank you, to the universe, to God, to wherever we direct our thoughts and prayers. If all we say is thank you, it's enough. It is enough. I think we, I think we spend so much time wanting things to be better that sometimes we miss. We miss what is really good right here and right now. And if we're trying to foster a sense of mindfulness, I think the two most important words are those. Here. Now. God's gifts, they are all around us. Joy is an attitude of mind, an awareness that our lives are basically good. Our lives are basically good, not perfect, but good. And when we look closely, life is really good. I know you've heard this, I tell this little piece every year at Thanksgiving. As a child, I was taught by my parents to foster an attitude of gratitude. In our bedtime prayers, we would kneel down and pray for so many things. Blessings upon us all, safety, peace in the world, a new bicycle, a new pair of jeans that weren't handed down by my four older brothers, uh, a bigger house with more than one bathroom shared by 11 people. We prayed for a lot. So our mom and dad would always remind us that we were blessed. So if I prayed for things, three things that I wanted, I need to, to name three specific things for which I was grateful. We had to pray our gratitudes every day. And so uh, this lifelong lesson of always looking for and finding something for which we can utter a prayer of thanks over. This familiar passage today, Jesus, he encounters the 10 lepers. Jesus, master, they shouted from a distance. Have pity on us. And he did. He did. Nine go off their separate ways. And the one returns, recognizing this massive, massive miracle that has occurred. The Samaritan. I think we can relate to the Samaritan. An outsider. A person considered to have no faith. To be unworthy of God's love. To somehow not fit or not belong. This one. This one is the one that returns to simply say, thank you. Now, you know, we're not told what happens to the other nine, but perhaps they were in shock, in utter disbelief. I can imagine them wanting to hurry home to their families, to touch them, to hug them, to hold them something they had not been able to do for so long. Surely they hungered for human touch. Life, we all know this life is so short. We look at them, we, we wander around this sanctuary. I can remember, and I'm sure you can too, almost every single person, these beautiful photographs which, which adorn our space in November, 
When we hold our beloved dead so close, we give thanks for them, for the gifts they offer and continue to offer in the communion of saints, for the gift of their lives. And we remember one day we too shall be among this number. Yes, life is short. Our nine friends, they'd already missed so much. And so they hurried home to pick up the pieces of, of life and to begin living again. So my friends, today, this day, we give thanks. We say thank you for the little gifts and for the big picture, for the people we have known forever and for those we are, have yet to meet. We cannot understand all of the connections that God is making for us. But, but if we are wise, we see all of these connections. We see them all with grateful hearts. So yes, we do, I do, we all do struggle with some of the big issues of the day. They trouble us, they worry us, they cause us fear, anxiety, consternation, but we also recognize the little miracles, the little blessings, the little gifts that sustain us. These little gifts all born of love and always challenging us to go out, to be the word made flesh, to go out and be love. I love Thanksgiving. I love the memories of happy family gatherings. Also, even memories of family squabbles and disagreements at the table. All the stuff that makes life interesting, challenging, adventurous, joyful, and worth living. So we are so mindful, mindful of God's blessings. And so we ask, with confidence, we call out to our God with our need. Our response to each petition is, Gracious and merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, for grateful hearts and generous hands, for repetent sinners and living saints, we pray. Gracious, Gracious and merciful God, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For thoughtful leaders and far-seeing lawgivers, for fair judges and honest representatives, for peacekeepers and all who serve and protect, we pray. Gracious and merciful Lord, hear our prayer for clean water and air, for renewable resources and prudent stewardship, we pray. Gracious and merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our MHR parish community, our families, friends, and neighbors, we pray. Gracious and merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may share in the Lord's heavenly banquet, we pray. Gracious and merciful Lord, hear our prayer. 
In this Mass intention, we pray for our Wednesday night supper community in a very special way. We pray for the many volunteers who serve so faithfully, the benefactors who serve so generously, and for our guests who come with a wide variety of needs. For our Wednesday night supper community, for whom our, second, our, our collection is offered today, for the great many people that this work blesses and touches, and for the many guests who so rely on our presence and our prayers. Generous God, you have given us every good thing. Your Holy Spirit bids us pray. Pray, pray, pray for all in need. Grant what we ask, hear these prayers we speak aloud, hear the many prayers we hold in our hearts. We offer them all through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our collection today is for the MHR Wednesday night suppers. Thank you for your generous support.
pray, my friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of God's holy church. O God, our loving Creator, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine, and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer closer to all of our sisters and brothers in the human family through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, our Lord and Savior. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of gratitude and love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me.
we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvador, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, with your entire people. And remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember all of our beloved dead, all those who are memorialized in this sanctuary throughout the month of November, those names inscribed in our parish book of the names of the dead, those names inscribed in our hearts. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them, O Lord, into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the martyrs, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. it is at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, that we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always remain free from sin as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory are yours, now and Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My friends, let us share with each other some signs of Christ's peace.
My friends, behold, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed, how blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love, your love for all of your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people. 
so that we might share with them the good things of time and eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I'm Mary Lee. Did you want to make a quick announcement? Oh, I thought you would be already up here. So while she's mic making your way, so I know some sometimes we're shy. So I had two, I had two wonderful friends. The joy of the holidays that brings us together. So two of my wonderful keep moving. I'm killing time. This is like travel music. I'm waiting for you to travel. <laughs> if you want to talk, you better get moving. <laughs> So my friend Paul is all the way here from London. His, his, uh, he's staying with us. There's Paulie. Welcome, Paulie. <laughs> so Paul's visiting from London. And my friend Cha Chaplain Ember. Where are you, Ember? There he is. Chaplain Ember and I work together. Chaplain Ember, Ember is a chaplain with hospice. And um, usually he's very busy on Sunday mornings. And, this, and, and so on Thursday, he was able to come and celebrate Thanksgiving. So welcome, Chaplain Ember. And thanks for all you do for the hospice community. He's this beautiful, comforting presence at many, many, many beds where people are going home to heaven. And Mary Lee has a quick little announcement for us as well. Thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you, Father. And I'm wishing everybody happy Thanksgiving. Um, I wanted to remind people that on December 2nd, which is a Saturday and December 3rd, we are going to have a wonderful festive celebration um, of the holidays and the proceeds will go to St. James school which is one of our ministries and i'm very excited to be inviting you for this weekend and i want to just go over a couple of things on saturday the events are a little different now they're more participatory uh, we have uh, wreath making and there is somebody who is very well equipped to teach you how to make a beautiful holiday wreath for your door or for a friend, or you could even donate it the following day for sale on, on Sunday. So that's one of the events. Then later on, we're going to have a wine tasting event with music. Um, the wine tasting, and you can also purchase bottles of wine which uh, are very special because Stefan Salinas, our own Stefan, has designed an MHR label. So that would be kind of fun to give somebody that as a gift. Uh, on Sunday, obviously, we will have our top seller, Father Matt, <laughs> succulent plants, his sensational succulent plants on sale. There'll be watercolor note cards, home knitted wear, jewelry, and more available to purchase as gifts for yourself, for your friends, for your family. Uh, the wreaths will also be on sale on Sunday. I wanted to tell you that the monies raised this time around for St. James will go toward a very special art program for them. And this art program is, helps to build children's self-esteem and social emotional competence through musical theater. And when you think about it, What's going on in this day and age is very difficult for adults to deal with, let alone children. So this is an opportunity to help children express what's going on inside of them that they may not comprehend at all. So in participating in these events, which we hope will bring you pleasure, you're also giving these children a very important tool so that they can deal with the world that they are entering into and growing up in. We're saying goodbye. Most of us are at that age where we're kind of letting go 
but this is, you know, this is going to be their world. They need the tools to navigate it. So this would give you an opportunity to have active compassion for these children and to pass on something very valuable to them. So I hope to see you December 2nd to make a wreath. Um, that is something that you have to call and make a reservation for. And on Sunday as well, after Mass. So thank you very much and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you. <laughs> Real fast, Mary Lee, what, what time on Saturday? What time on Saturday? What time on Sunday? 11 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Today, this day when we give thanks, I think it's important, it's good to tell someone, tell someone today that you love them. Let them know that you're grateful, grateful for the gift of their presence in your life. Be, be the blessing, be the blessing that you have so gratefully received. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, yes, let us continue to pray for God's blessing. May every person you meet today be blessed. Blessed by you. Blessed by your eyes. Blessed by your smile. Blessed by your touch. Blessed by your presence. Let gratitude overflow into blessing all around you. And may God grant you joy of heart. May peace abide among you. May God's goodness toward you endure. May God deliver us and protect us in our days. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. And happy Thanksgiving. I am so grateful for all of you. Happy Thanksgiving.